What is going on everybody? My name is Salem Sunny and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I help individuals such as yourself be more motivated, discover their purpose and understand that you are God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and also click on that notification button so you also get updated on the upcoming videos. It's been quite a while since I've posted on my YouTube channel. I've been actually traveling a lot from doing some summits in France to a festival in Louvain of Belgium to going all the way to Wittenberg, Germany and back to Brussels for some incredible meetings with young people and also we did some personal development training in different places. It was just an incredible time. But I'm back and I'm excited to share with you guys what we're talking about talent, how to discover your talent. My father and I, in an organization we've put together, we talk a lot about potential. We believe that each one of us has a God-given potential that is inside of us. And we've put together what we call the five T's. I have a t-shirt right here. And the five T's simply is what we think are some of the key potential that God has deposited in each one of us. Uh, there's more than five potentials that we each have. The reason why we stuck with these five is because they each begin with the letter T. So when we talk about the five T's, we have the talent, your time, your treasure, your testimony, and technology. These are the five T's that often enough when we do a lot of personal development from corporate training to a one-on-one -on -one personal development for youth groups, from churches, from employees, is through these five T's we can address many different issues and address many different things that can improve individuals or organizations. I know that was a mouthful, but today I wanna to talk about talent. When we address talent, we often break it down into four different main compartments. One, discovery of talent. How can you discover the talent that's within you? Out of close to like 8 billion people that are currently on earth as of 2017, each single person comes on earth with a specifically given God talent in them. And our goal is to be able to help you discover what the talent is. Number two, we want you to be able to expose your talent. How can you be able to, once you discover that, present that into the world? We think that it's very important that each of us have a talent that is God given, but the world needs. So it is within us so that we can also be able to benefit the world. Number three, that is important. We want to be able to sharpen the talent and the gift that God has put inside of us. Sometimes some of the gifts and the talents we have within us come in a raw form. So they come in a form that is not well sharpened, that is not at its final product. So we wanna be able to help you get to that level. And lastly, how can you promote your gift? Have you ever met a person that is a great singer but only sings in a shower? Oh, they only sing but when they're by themselves or with their friends and nobody gets to enjoy the beautiful voice they have or somebody has great managerial skills, they know how to manage, they're a problem solver, but they only do it when it only regards them. So we also address how to be able to promote such talents and gift that is within you. Just because I don't want to make this video too long, I'm going to give you guys five questions that you can be able to jog your memory on how you can be able to discover your talent. I'm going to encourage you to get a pen and a paper to write some of these questions down. I wanna preface the questions by saying, we can have more than one talent. As I'm presenting some of these questions to you, you might be writing more than just one thing. I don't want you to panic. It's okay, God has deposited many things in you. You're not just a unilateral person that just here for one specific thing. There are many things that might interest you, that many gifting that God has put inside of you, and that is okay. The number one question is, what comes natural to you? What do you do that comes naturally to you? You don't have to put too much effort into doing it. You didn't go to school to do it. You didn't get a degree in doing it. You didn't get some kind of training or certificate to be able to start doing it. It's something that as long as you can remember, you're good at doing. What is that thing? Or what are those things? Write it down. Number two, that is very important. What do you enjoy doing? I think this is the part that sometimes people don't pay enough attention to what do they actually like doing and take a very introspective look into, I might be talented at this because I enjoy doing this a lot. It could be in the musical world, it could be in the sport world, it could be in finance, it could be something along the lines of you're a writer, you're an author, you like working on videos, you like doing marketing, you like, you're a people person, you like kind of having conversation with individuals, you can sit there hours listening to music, you can, when you watch movies, you look at the camera work, you like, you look at, you like have a producer mindset, like those are things, you know, if you enjoy this type of things, write it down. Number three. Why do you often get complimented on? 
I know. What do you often get complimented on? Unfortunately, sometimes we ourselves don't see the gifting or the talents that we have within us. Other people may be able to see them maybe more clearly than we do. So when somebody compliments you, so so when some so when somebody compliments you often about, wow, you do your makeup very well. How do you always do your hair so well? Man, you're very fashionable. Or man, you draw so well. Like every time I talk to you, you bring so much wisdom. Like there's always things that you often, you know, you get complimented on often. That is something for you to write on. Oh, they usually tell me I sing very well. Or when I meet someone, they always say, you're a great people person. Or when I meet somebody, and these are the things that they say. Write those things down. Whether it is your friend, whether it is your parents, whether it is colleagues, whether it is classmates, what are some of those things that are reoccurring that people often tell you? Number four, when do you continuously seek improvement on? What is that thing or things that you seek improvement on? There are some things that we do that we're like, man, I wanna be better at doing this. I wanna get better at that. What are those things? What are those things that when you do them, you enjoy doing them, obviously, they come maybe naturally to you, but you have a, but you're, you're seeking to improve, to sharpen that skill. Maybe you're like, okay, I'm gonna go to school, you know, get a degree to be able to understand this managerial things better. I wanna take uh, singing lessons. I wanna take piano lessons. You know, I wanna be able to mentor underneath someone. Uh, I wanna be able to do an internship in this area so that I can understand better how to do this. What are those things that you have this inner desire to improve. And lastly, what would you do for free? I know it's unfortunate that we live in a world where we need monetary transaction to be able to purchase things that we need, like necessities to live. So we often exchange the money that we have for those different amenities. So money is important. But what are those things that you do? What are those desires that you have inside of you that even if they never paid you to do it, you would still do it? And you would do it for a long time. Not as like, okay, I'll do it for today for free, but you would continue to do it for the rest of your life. Like you see yourself doing this 10, 15, 20, 30 years down the line because you're so passionate about doing that. Those are some things that can also help you discover what are some of those talents that God has deposited inside of you. If this has really helped you, give our video a thumbs up. It really helps me. Also, share this to someone that can also be blessed by this content. If the questions were a little bit too fast, don't hesitate at the end of the video, go back and rewatch the videos and write each of the questions down. I would love to hear some of the things that you guys have written down. Write it in the comment section below. I'll be able to interact with some of you guys also right there. For those of you guys who are more interested to doing like one-on-one -on -one personal development or some kind of coaching with myself, make sure to contact me on the address as you see on the screen right now. We'll be able to set something up and move from there. But that's all for me today. I gotta go. Remember, you are God's very best. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.